Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a little truck talk today. I just had a mod podge of different things that I wanted to share with you and I really couldn't think of a cohesive way to really bring things up. So we'll just do like a uh, just a little chit chat, get you caught up on what's going on around here. Um, so yeah, this is probably going to be a little rambly. I'm going to try not to make it rambly, but um, anyway, it is what it is. So I'll start off by saying I stayed up till like 2 in the morning this past week filming a video making my uh, homemade sourdough bread. And I got to the editing part and all that and I just I'm gonna I'm gonna redo it because it didn't come out very good the lighting is bad and the audio is bad because I don't have I currently don't have a mic I finally ordered one it's coming this week um, a new shotgun mic for the camera so that'll be better um, it's been a real pain in the neck not having one and I never think to get it unless I'm filming and I'm thinking gee what a pain in the neck I don't have my mic so we will get a mic um, Let's see what else. We got back from the sportsman show down to Augusta. Went to that this weekend. Tonight is uh, it's Saturday night. I'm having a Crown and Coke. It's been a long, long weekend. And it's only Saturday night. So anyway, um, don't worry. I'm just sitting in my driveway. <laughs> Truck's not running. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just sitting here having a little drink. Um, so what's been going on? Been boiling sap. Um, seems like we got high sugar content, or at least we did last week. That's probably different this week. Um, I don't have that tool that measures the sugar content, but, um, doing good. We have made a gallon and a half of syrup right now, so far. And actually the first batch of sap that we collected, I put in a barrel the night before I had scrubbed out a barrel and got it all nice and squeaky clean we collected the sap probably had had around 20 gallons or 22 gallons or so of sap and um, the next morning went out to start the fire to boil it all down got the fire going put the pans on the grate and uh, went to dip sap out of the barrel of my dipper and it was all gone there's a hole, like a really tiny hole or crack in the very bottom of the barrel. She all leaked out in the snow. So that was like a half gallon of syrup gone. That was a pain in the rear end. But um, I I don't know where the hole is. I never found it. I held the barrel right up to the light and everything and I couldn't tell where it was. But So anyway, I got a different barrel and I lined it with a clean brand new contractor bag. I said never again. So we've been doing good with that. Um, I got more to boil, t uh, not tomorrow. Well, I might start tomorrow afternoon or Monday. So I'll probably bring you along for some of that if you guys are interested. So the sportsman show was good. Uh, just kind of been having a time keeping my mind on things lately, which I'll talk to you more about in a minute but sportsman show was good um, a lot of good vendors as always picked up some new shirts from the soldier solutions booth um, I'll leave the link to their website down below their their uh, <clears throat> company I think based out of Connecticut um, and their goal is to provide jobs for veterans and they also I think they partner with Operation Companion, which I think is a separate outfit that um, works with like pairing dogs with veterans that have PTSD and pretty cool. So I always pick up a few shirts from them. Um, went to a fly fishing seminar and that was good. Uh, learned a lot of stuff there. A lot of people. Oh my word, she was just shoulder to shoulder in there. A bit much, but Good stuff. So it was just me and Joe. We got away for the night. Stayed at the Senator Inn. That's a nice place. It's a 
really nice place. They had a hot tub and a pool and all that. Let's see, what else? I've got like a ton of video ideas that I'd like to do. Um, I've got some stuff I want to do with the truck. Um, do like a little, maybe like a little mini series on that. Got some things that I got for the truck I want to put on and there's some, oh, I get so many ideas. I want to get out and do another solo type thing in the woods. What else? Oh, we got a, um, we got a P.O. box for those who've been asking, um, you know, where they can get in contact with us through mail. So we set up a P.O. box. I'll leave that down in the description too. Or I'll post it here somewhere too. Um, what else has been going on? The uh, hound pup, she turned a year old. June turned 11. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It's, um... That really didn't do a thing, did it? <laughs> it's, uh... <clears throat> it's almost 6.30. Country Gold will be starting in about a half hour. I gotta get a new antenna for my truck, though. I think she blew off on the interstate. <clears throat> and I just got out of the shower, so I look like a drowned rat, but... Anyway, um, so Friday morning before we left to go down for, uh, to Augusta for the sportsman show, I took June up to the vet because she's been kind of sore and, you know, stiff joints and stuff. She's old. She's overweight, which that is my bad. I take full responsibility for that. Um, so anyway, I took her to the vet to see about getting her some pain meds um she still has mostly good days there's some days though she can't get in the truck or get in or out of the truck unless i help her so um sorry that straw must be driving you crazy uh so joe's gonna make me a little ramp that i can keep in the bed of the truck so i can she can get in and out a lot easier So anyway, I took her to the vet, and they looked her over, and the vet said, well, let's run some blood work. I want to check her liver first before we put on anti-inflammatories. He says, we just do that with every, you know, critter that they're considering putting on anti-inflammatories. I said, okay, no problem. So he does the blood work. He also did a... A urine test found out she has a UTI so she's got some medicine for that um, the blood work came back and she's got some elevated liver numbers which he said there were two different two different types and one he just he disregards anyway because it just doesn't mean much but there was um, some other numbers that he was pretty concerned about and he was asking some questions and stuff. So, he couldn't put her on any meds for her joints. She's going to go back in two weeks for another blood test. And if her liver numbers are still high, we'll go from there. Um, you know, she's also been drinking a lot of water. She's gotten a pot belly in the last couple months, which isn't normal for her. Um, and she's gotten kind of snappy. Um, she doesn't cop up an attitude with me, but with, you know, the, even the kids and, and um, you know, other people in the house, she's kind of... So she's, she's not herself. Um... So the vet wouldn't come right out and say it, but I could tell by the look on his face. Uh, it's pretty serious. Um, I'm obviously no vet, but it... It's looking like she has liver failure. 
So we'll see. I gotta take her back in two weeks, like I said, for some more blood work. And just to make sure her UTI cleared up. But the next steps, if the numbers are, if her liver numbers are still high, then the next step would be like, you know, um, x-ray and ultrasound to see what's going on. Um, but he said her liver's probably leaking somewhere. And, I mean, if, you know, if it comes back that that's what's going on, then that really begs the question as to how much of this testing are we going to do because she would have to be sedated for probably both the x-ray and the ultrasound because she wouldn't hold still for that and I mean that that anesthetics get processed through the liver so I mean if her liver is not good then that's probably a risk in itself and she's 11 years old so it's it's not good. He like I said he wouldn't come right out and say it, but I could see it in his face. So that's been on my mind. That's why I'm having coke and whiskey. Yeah. We didn't bring her ice fishing when we went this year. Um, but like her favorite thing to do is swimming. I don't think we're going to make it. Looks bad. I mean, I'm not trying to be a pessimist, but I'm just trying to be real about it. You know, just trying to be realistic. Um, so... I mean, we've got some camping trips planned and, you know, I'm going to do some solo stuff and take my canoe out and, you know, the snow's finally just starting to go away. I mean, down, even, you know, down below us, they have pretty much almost no snow left. We still got, we still got some around here. I mean, it's going quick and the mud's coming quick, but, oh my word. So, I mean, that's just, she loves that stuff. She loves, she loves going for rides. She absolutely loves swimming, but she hates getting a bath. I don't understand that, but. And, uh, I got thinking about it. And the first time I ever took her swimming when she was a pup, just a little puppy, and I got her, I took her to East Musquash. And it was just her and I. And last summer in September, the last time I went swimming was uh, that solo trip I did with just her and I in my canoe. Um, I'll link that down below in case you missed it. Um, and that was on West Musquash. And so... I thought, you know, if it turns out that that was the last trip. I mean, that's kind of cool. Started with just the two of us. And it's probably going to end that it was just the two of us. East and West Musquash, both. So, I've been feeling pretty crappy. Not going to lie. I mean, typically the end of April is for planting peas and taters, not dogs. Well, it's not all bad news. Um, there is, there is something. 
going on in the uh, <clears throat> behind the scenes that's been in the works for a little while now. I'm not ready to share it yet, so if any of my family or friends that know what I'm talking about is watching this, you be quiet down in the comments. Shh. It's a secret. But there is something there is something exciting and happy um, going on behind the scenes. Just not ready to share it yet. Um, but soon. So Anyway, um, it's really starting to get dark out now. I don't want to be a complete Debbie Downer, but I just wanted to chat with you guys for a little bit. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, um, especially anything like this where, you know, just kind of letting you know what's going on, but things have been busy and just been all about the sap lately and getting the kids doing their schoolwork. We're going to wrap that up soon. Here in another month or so. Thank God. <laughs> so we got that going on. And just day-to-day -day stuff and you know, things with Junebug. And just keep plugging on ahead. And I guess I'll... Uh, I guess I'll head in and uh, turn on a little country gold. Have my whiskey and coke. Get some laundry done. Hope you guys are doing well. And I'm, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping to get some more videos out soon. Like I said, I got some stuff I want to do with the truck. I want to, you know, do some videos on that. Um, yeah, and I'd like to do some baking and cooking videos coming up and uh, sap, boiling that down. Coming up on the end of sap season too, I think, because the, uh, the days are warming up. Nights are still cold and the buds haven't busted yet, so we're good there, but she's, she's going to wrap up pretty quick here, I think. Alright, well, uh, hope you guys are all doing good. And uh, take care. Thanks for watching. And catch you on the next one.